Hello and welcome to Navigating the Federal Software Sales Market, brought to you by Cinzio Consulting Group and Public Spend Forum. My name is Frank McNally. I'm the Director of Learning and Content here at Public Spend Forum, and I'll be your narrator for all the video lessons in this course. Now, this is just a program introduction. We wanted to take a minute to describe what we were doing here um, in this learning path. Now, it is self-directed online learning, and we use the learning path method because we like to sequence material that we curate from around the web and that we also develop in-house with our subject matter experts to build knowledge in layers, which we think is a really ideal way to learn complex topics like navigating the federal software sales market. So within this learning path, we have three individual modules, and each is about an hour in length. In Module 1, Selling Software and the Federal Government, our objectives will be assessing the federal buyer, aligning your sales approach, and examining the unique characteristics of this market. In Module 2, Preparing to Sell, our objectives are going to be finding your sales channels, communicating with your customer, and explaining your value. And finally, in Module 3, Closing the Deal, our objectives are going to focus on surveying additional channels of sales, differentiating your solution, and navigating the federal software ecosystem. Now, before we get started, we do want to just provide a brief introduction to the platform that we're using to deliver this content to you. It is really easy to use, and upon enrollment in the course, you would have received an invitation from Public Spend Forum to begin the learning path. If you're already rolling along and familiar with how everything works, you can go ahead and skip to the next track. But if you want a really quick orientation to the software, just stick with us for a couple of minutes. Okay, so this is inside Helpified, and this is the online learning system that we're using. This is the actual path. You would have seen this upon logging in. Uh, up in the top right, you have your administrative functions. You can look at your profile. You can update your profile. You can hop around and search. And then there's the description of the path, how to sell software to federal government, and what exactly is included. And then sort of a progress bar there. And you can use that resume path button uh, to, to start and stop the path at your convenience. You don't have to complete it all in one sitting. So all of the tracks uh, contain multimedia content that we curate from all around the web and some that we develop ourselves, like this YouTube video. Now you'll see it's really easy to play. You can just play that YouTube video straight from the player, which is nice. You don't have to go to YouTube and actually look it up. And there I am. Uh, and then if you navigate within each track, that's also easy. These buttons on the right and the left will take you forward and back. Um, there's also this navigation bar over here on the right where you can see all the path items that you have to complete before you're done. And this neat progress bar here tells you exactly how far you are um, in, in completing the path itself. Now, if you have a question uh, about anything topically or working within the software, just type it right in here into the suggestion box and we'll write right back to you. If it's a question about the content, we'll go ahead and answer it in the comment box and that way other people can benefit from that question. This is an example of a track that contains an article curated from Inc.com. To read the article directly within the track, you can just click on this Read More button right here, and it brings all the content right in. You can also visit the, the source of that article. Let's say you want to go to ink.com and read the article for some reason. You could click on ink.com, and it takes you right to that source article. We have regular knowledge checks throughout the path. These are just for you to assess your own knowledge. There are no grades in this course, but we think it's always helpful to make sure you test yourself so that you can understand these concepts. They're simple to take. Just click on the Take Quiz Now button and start the quiz. And then, of course, select the right answers, and um, you get a little context with each answer. So if you do get it wrong, uh, we help you understand why you got it wrong. So that's it. That's Helpified, a very simple platform to use. Of course, if you have any questions at all, you can just email your course administrator. Um, that's probably going to be me, and we'll help you right out. Thank you again for, for taking this course with us, and we look forward to learning with you. Bye-bye.